the Brahmos is uh, an indigenous joint and joint venture. This actually provides us two capabilities. One is the land attack capability. Any threat emerging from the west or east could be looked at and monitored and neutralized when required. The Brahmos is uh, an indigenous joint and joint venture. So we have been uh, progressing that the indigenous content in the Brahmos is increased more and more. And this actually provides us two capabilities. One is the land attack capability and anti-ship capability. Both these are extremely essential for uh, the maritime security of the nation. With the next generation mobile missile coastal batteries, we will be able to mm, uh, deploy them at strategic locations so that any threat emerging from the west or east could be looked at and monitored and neutralized when required. And uh, uh, sir, uh, in last 20 months we have seen a lot of uh, uh, warships and uh, during your tenure uh, warships and uh, important uh, indigenization programs coming up. Can you tell us uh, a bit about them sir? Uh, actually, it's been a very, very satisfying tenure to contribute towards the might of the nation and the Navy uh, as the Vice Chief of the Naval Staff. Uh, especially in the last 20 months, we have commissioned uh, many, very important platforms. Uh, the INS Vikrant, which was the indigenous aircraft carrier, which was commissioned by the Honorable Prime Minister. Then we had the uh, destroyers, uh, the next generation, uh, the Vishakhapatnam and Mor uh, Mormogov which were commissioned, and two submarines, Wagir and Vela, were also commissioned. So this has really given us a potent uh, fillip to the Indian Navy. It has enhanced our capabilities. In addition, a lot of thrust has been given to innovation and indigenization in line with the Atmanirbhar Bharat clarion call given by the Honorable Prime Minister. Uh, we have progressed uh, the innovation in a very, very rapid manner. Actually, it is like doing things differently. We have shortened the procedures. We have uh, worked day and night to induct game-changing technologies. And uh, the 75 technology uh, challenges, which were launched by Honorable Prime Minister during Solomon seminar on 18 July last year, we are sure that we will be able to induct 75 technologies by 15th August this year. And some of them are going to be game-changing technologies which will be the first of its kind in the world.